Welcome to Little Home Projects. This is my first video in my 2018 gardening video blog series. This is my first time doing a video blog, so I'm guessing the videos are going to be a little different than my normal ones. Rather than doing project-based videos, I'm just going to be doing a bit of a diary on what I'm doing for my gardening this year, and hopefully I can get a video out each week and everyone can follow along. I've started by pulling out all my old gardening stuff from last year. One of the main things I have is this light stand that I made. It collapses down nice and easy to, to store. Uh, this year I'm not going to use it though. I want to do a few more plants. I'm going to do things a bit larger than before. And I need a new light stand, so this one's not going to work out. Something else that I'm trying that I've never tried before is I want to use these seed starting heat trays. You go underneath your seedlings and just sort of increase the temperature of the soil and it, it's supposed to increase germination. I've never used them before. I want to give them a try because I want to grow some hot peppers this year and I want to get a nice early start. So this is the first time I'm looking at this. The instructions on the heating pad say that for the best results you want to put some insulation underneath and this forces all the heat up. It's just kind of dumb luck that I actually have some bubble wrap insulation made for hot water tanks just lying around. I got it from a friend, I said I'd put it to use, and right away I found a use. It's exactly the right size for this table. It'll help reflect all the heat from these heat mats up to the plants. I'm using a pre-made bag of potting mix to grow these seedlings in. First step I want to do though is get all the clumps mixed out so that it's nice and evenly mixed and there's nothing sharp or jagged in there. This stuff is not bone dry. It's also not very wet, and last time I did this, I had a bit of trouble getting water to wick up, so I'm going to pre-wet some of this, not so that it's dripping wet, but just so that it's humid all the way through. So I'm going to fill it quite as much up this time, sort of not quite full, tap it down. Something similar can be said about this Jiffy Mix here, very fluffy, very light, really easy for seeds to grow in it. It needs to be pre-moistened as well. Put in about here. I can pack it down reasonably well because it will compress over time also, but it's not packed down tight. It's not loose either. You can see it's holding its shape. We'll call that fill. I'm going right to the top because I'm going to be watering or bottom watering these. I want as much dirt as possible. So I just got to do that 30 more times. I'm going with the two hottest peppers that I could find at the local store. For me, that's habaneros and one called pepper super chili hybrid. I figured that the two hottest options, so that's what I want to grow. I'm going to put each of these in their own trays on the heat mat and then use the third tray with no heat mat for my other things like tomatoes, basil, cucumber, more of the basics. I don't know how many seeds come in each of these packs, but the plan would be to put two per pot and that way I can get rid of whichever one doesn't grow as well. Not every seed is going to germinate, so that's why you want to have a backup in case it doesn't. This is what the habanero seed pack looks like. It looks like a good amount of seeds, more than I need. Um, I'll be able to use most of them. The seeds are very light, very delicate, you know, basic seeds. I use a pen or a marker to poke a little hole, two per pot. And then make sure to put in only one seed per hole, and that way it's a nice clear germination of what works and what doesn't. The plan is to bottom water these the entire time, so I'm going to start with about a liter of water in the tray, and the dirt will wick it up as it needs it. 
Because these seeds are just starting out though, I want to make sure the top is nice and moist and the seeds will germinate nicely, so I do want to put some water on the top just to get things started. Uh, but once they've germinated, it's all going to be bottom water. So I just opened up these chili peppers. Inside was a little pack and there is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 seeds. So that's not even enough for my tray. I'm a bit not impressed with that. 13 seeds, this pack, of, this was a $4 pack of, uh, of seeds. Doesn't really say how many is supposed to be in there, but I don't know, 12 seeds does not seem like enough. Not cool, Mackenzie. Not enough seeds. So for this tray, that's enough for one seed per pod. If they all germinate, I'll have enough as I planned, but I'm guessing that some of them won't, and you can check in later in the blog to see what actually worked out. I did the exact same watering as the habaneros, about a liter of water in the bottom, and then a light splash of water on the top to make sure the seeds would be nice and humid and germinate. A little tip for housekeeping, you'll end up with seeds that you didn't use a lot of the time, so this habanero pack has seeds I didn't finish. Write the year that you bought them on them, because I've got other habanero packs that never worked out in my collection, and now I'll know which ones I bought which year, and which are the oldest. I can throw out the oldest and just keep the newest. I sorted through my seed collection over past years and picked out what I wanted to plant. Seeds will often keep uh, for years, so I'm not really worried about these failing. I think they're going to work out just fine. So here's my final decision on what I'm planting my last tray. I'm going to run five mix of basil, purple and green sweet basil, two beef hybrid plants, two jelly bean hybrid, two Rudiger tomato, and two mortgage lifter tomato. I'm also going to run three pickling cucumbers and three dills. And I'll still plant more in the garden direct seed, but that's what I figure I'll start with for this. All right, everything's seeded. I didn't label anything. I'm okay with that. So I've drilled some holes in the lid of this bottle. That makes it a bit easier to, to water the tops here. And the water going down will really help it wick water up later on. So that's why I like to put a good amount on the top to start. Just looking back at these other trays for a moment, you can really tell that the heat pad is working because I've had these lids on these trays for about 20 minutes and they're already fogging up, which means they're getting a good amount of heat to start. I think this is gonna really work out. One last thing for starting seeds in this video is I've gotten this bowl from a friend of mine who didn't want to use it anymore. And I'm gonna just use the dirt that's in it already and plant some chives. And for the chives that I'm gonna plant, I've actually collected a bunch of seeds from previous years. so. The chives always send out, send out good flowers and the seeds kind of just sit there at the tops of the flowers at the end of the season. If you pick them up and collect them, put them in a Ziploc bag, you can kind of just crunch them up, shake them out, and you collect all the seeds. You get a lot out of just one little chive clump that didn't get harvested, so uh, if you ever do see the flowers going to seed, collect the seeds. There's a lot there and you can reuse them. I'm just putting these all down, which is a, a huge amount of seeds going in, and yeah, I'm just going to scratch them into the surface, let them germinate. I want this bowl to replace my current chive patch, which is already growing this, this early in the spring, as you can see here, but it's right next to this tree, which isn't optimal. A lot of leaves fall on it, which thins it out. It doesn't get the sun that it should really get. So I don't think this patch is gonna last, which is why I wanna start a new one. Okay, this is my new 2018 gardening vlog. I'm just gonna track everything that I'm doing as I do it. Last year, I didn't do too well in keeping up with all my videos, so I tried to film everything all at once and deliver it on an episode basis, but I just got overwhelmed with it. So this year, I'm gonna do it one day at a time. Whenever I'm working in the garden, I'm gonna try and record it and post it. That way there's a constant stream of things coming out. Thanks for checking me out. Thanks for watching Little Home Projects. This will be the 2018 gardening playlist. See you soon.